Hey YouTube! I am here to do a um, one year review and a what fits inside my Chanel uh, boy bag, mermaid bag, iridescent bag. Um, it's been called a many a name. <laughs> um, it's this baby right here. Now, uh, <laughs> little backstory. I bought this bag. It's been a year. Um, when did I buy her? I want to say last April, either last March or April. Uh, before Chanel, this bag, I didn't think a Chanel bag was in my um, sights for uh, a little bit. I, at that point, I liked Chanel. I love Chanel bags. I mean, Chanel. I always thought I would own one in my 40s or 50s. Um, and I never saw a Chanel bag that really spoke to me. I like the classic flaps, but everyone has a classic flap. So I wasn't, you know, going to spend any money on that. Um, I liked the DeVille. I always liked the DeVille. Just, I mean, you know, there were other bags in my sight. However, one day I was walking down the street and I saw a girl with the tinier version. I mean, it was probably like this small. And it's probably this, the, the mini or whatever, the smallest sizes in this size, in this, um, in the boy. And it was this color and she had it swung across body um, and it was, you know, backside. So she was walking in front of me and this bag was flapping, saying, hi, Amy, hi, Amy, hi, Amy. <laughs> and I was like, if I would have owned a Chanel bag, that would be the bag for me. Um, actually, I think I bought this in January. I bought this in January, yes. January of last year, 2016. Um, so I forgot about it because I thought, oh, that bag, you know, it's, first of all, it's way too expensive. Secondly, it's probably no longer available. Went online, uh, went on YouTube. I happened to see Maria Dragonova, I believe her name is. Um, she had it and then another girl had it. I could forget her name at the moment. And then I was like, this bag might be current. <laughs> so ran myself over the sacks and asked them if they had the iridescent bag. They said, the woman said no, they sold out, but they did have the classic flap in the iridescent. And I was like, no, this, the boy is for the iridescent. The classic flaps are for blacks, for, you know, your main colors. Which case, a couple of days later, the woman texts me that she got one in, last one in the company, as they always say. But with this bag, is kind of the truth. Oh. Anyway, I will link the email, the, um, the video below when I go through all this story. But long story short, she is the jewel of my collection, my only Chanel bag, and probably will be my only Chanel bag for a while. And quite frankly, if I had to own one Chanel bag, this is the bag for me, hands down. Oh, the color is just amazing. It's a purple iridescent. There was a green ir ir iridescent one, and then there was like a bronze one, but I wanted the purple. This is the new medium size. Um, like I said, it is purple. It has the oil slick um, CC logo and the oil slick chain with leather and the oil slick for the buttons. And um, it fits pretty much all I needed to fit. Of course, I wish there was a back pocket, but in which case I have worn this bag maybe 10 times, maybe. But this bag is uh, a bag that I don't bring out all the time, obviously. It is something that I bring out when I'm feeling a little, you know, uh, je ne sais quoi. Uh, so I hope to have it in my collection for a very, very long time to come. Uh, I hope to pass it down, uh, well, to my daughter in my will. <laughs> she might be able to, she may, well, you know what, we, we'll, we'll talk about if she can borrow it when she's of age, we'll see. But um, anyway, it is, you guys seen a million uh, videos on the boy bag. This I believe is goat skin. Yes, I believe it's goat skin. I should know this. Open it up, the flap opening never gave me a problem, never got on my nerves. Some people it did, I don't know. But it is still in pristine condition. I store this baby like, <laughs> I mean, box, paper, stuffing, velvet. I do not store the chain in the same dust bag as the bag. I put the dust bag on it, cinch it with the chain out, then put another dust bag 
over the chain cinch it and then lay it flat however in the back in the box but when i store it in my closet the box is laying up but it is cushioned so that this doesn't you know the corners don't kind of go in or bend or anything like that so i you know i'm taking care of this baby girl um so it opens up and it fits quite a lot if it's my daily essentials thankfully there have been there's no scratches yet on um do i still have a ticker no i do not do i i do <laughs> the sticker's still on there um there's no scratches yet on the flap i hope to keep it that way i am in notor i just <sighs> she gets her own seat on the plane <laughs> so let's go into what she holds without pressing on you know i like to keep the bag in the shot when i'm doing these videos so this flap is actually going to get on my nose just a little bit, but here we go. I have a pair of uh, sunglasses in here. I keep it in the um, this Miu Miu soft velvet case, and it's actually very plush um, because it you know take doesn't take up room, and it is the last thing I put in there, and it sits nicely on the top. Um, these shades that I. I'm currently wearing, ah, uh, let's see, yes, my McQueen's. I love them, yes. You can probably see my makeup table through the reflection. So those fit in quite conveniently. Okay, okay. I have my six uh, key holder from Louis Vuitton. Um, my work phone, which, uh, of course my regular cell phone, I left a room in there, so it'll fit in there as well. Some lip products, which I use, I put in, um, they're loose, because I only carry three with me. Um, so that's in there. Uh, my card, my bus holder, my bus pass holder. My full-size Emily wallet which if I didn't carry a full-size wallet I'm pretty sure I could fit more in there let me show you the full-size wallet fits in there perfectly um, let me take this stuff out and I'll show you then I have my uh, coach basement little zippy pouch which I keep my headphones in again if I didn't you know I could take my headphones out of there but for the purposes of what I'm using it for it, it this is fine and then a pack of gum and then in the front pocket, I have my Gucci card case. Um, yeah, and then I don't really use the back pocket here. What is that? What is that? We're gonna have to figure out what that is. It's not a scratch. It's... <laughs> um, and there you have it. Of course, the inside is not leather. The inside is just a... Um, material so this bag was I believe it was made in Italy the lighting here is bad yes this bag was made in Italy so it fits everything I need and see if this will work wallet nice this is not gonna work but that's how the wallet fits in you can put everything back in there bus pass G card holder in the front case, the front uh, pocket there. Uh, let's see, my coach, little zippy, uh, some gum, a work phone, the card case, I mean the uh, key holder, uh, my lip products. I'm gonna throw in a mirror just for a little compact mirror just for kicks. Are we gonna pretend that my phone just slips in to the back back there? And then my Gucci shades, and there it is. Let's see if I can that's how everything fits in there. It could fit in better, but you know, it fits. Well um sunglasses on top and voila everything you need for the day without overstuffing it.
because you don't want the bottom to sag either. So, um, I did mod shots in my other videos. There she is. I don't usually wear her like this, especially when I'm in the city, um, because you, you just never know. I'm just I'm super, if I have to run down the street after someone, I, I will. And if I don't catch them, I'd cry. So, just to be on the safe side, this is how I wear her. And I wear her usually in the front so that people don't ding me or, you know, walk too close and scratch her because then I would have to run after them. But yes, that is my beautiful Chanel iridescent purple mermaid bag. You know, she can do this too. Love her. Absolutely love her. And um, if I want to zhuzh her up, as they say, I'll put on my little um, fur uh, faux monster, <laughs> which I think is the perfect color combination for this bag. So, yes, if you guys are in the market for a boy, the uh, new medium is the perfect perfect size um, it fits everything you could possibly need for the day um, and and more and I, like I said if I didn't use the full wallet or some of the cases you know it could fit even more but I don't like to overstuff this is everything I need um, to use in a day the, the flap does not bother me at all I actually like that it is like somewhat self-closing so all you know you know all you're doing is this this oh i gotta pay for my wallet poof, poof, poof. i mean i don't understand what the if some people say it's not convenient i mean it's, you know two hands i'm doing just two hands people look for you two hands two hands so going in and out of it i don't have a problem you know so i definitely recommend this size i've never tried the boy in any other size um there we go. So, gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Uh, this bag is available on the pre-love market site for so much more money than it actually was uh, retailed for, um, which is nice to know because if I keep it in pristine condition and for some reason I'm facing, you know, the depths of despair, I can. This is kind of my ticket out, um, which, quite frankly, well, we won't go into that. But um, anyway, she is the jewel because she is Chanel, because she is this iridescent beauty, um, and because she is my only Chanel, and you know, it's special to me. So yay, I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any other questions. I don't think, um, I think I've covered everything from, you know, size. I'm five, what am I, five, five, four, um, and this is where she falls on me. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. She's a comfortable bag. Doesn't bother me, especially because it has the strap. Um, you can also, uh, let's see, wear her like this, which I don't, once again, because of security concerns. If I was in a pinch and for some reason I took her off and then had to run out and put her, I'll wear her like that. Um, and then if I have to run like this, so that the CC, you know, the logos facing inside. But otherwise, guys, great bag to own. If you can get your hands on this color somehow and by some miracle, you still can definitely recommend this. This is a beautiful bag. I just think it's one of the best colors that, and combinations too, that Chanel has made to date. Um, like I said, my sights are set on the classic in the burgundy, that maroon burgundy gold hardware. Oh, that is my classic flap. I hope they do it again soon. I'll be looking for it hopefully this fall. Maybe they'll bring that color back. That's my next classic. That's my classic flap. I only have a couple of Chanel's um, that I, a couple of Chanel. I only have that bag and I would like probably... Uh, mini in the rectangle, but that's you know, I don't have to get that but the classic flap in maroon I would still like the Deauville in a leather hopefully or maybe all black if they came with a gray leather <laughs> Oh and a dove gray. I've seen a dove gray in, in the classic flap. Oh, I would like that one too. 
silver hardware or gold hardware, whichever. Um, and yeah, that would round out my Chanel collection. Then I'm on to other brands. You know me. I'm an equal opportunity bag lover. So let me know if you have any questions or comments. And I will talk to you in my next video. Take care.